guys, it's your girl Lou back at it again with another video. So today's Word Wednesday hit me hard a couple of weeks ago, not even gonna lie. And it's titled, Are You Just Busy or In Purpose? So we're gonna be talking about Martha and Mary today. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe you're probably wondering why do youtubers always say this when youtube sees that people are liking and commenting on a certain video it shows them that people like the content and they'll recommend it to other people if you like what you see in here hit that like button and drop down a comment um, what you learned what you, your thoughts your views on it and we'll just start a conversation and take it from there this word wednesday really resonated with me because sometimes we confuse being busy for god as being in purpose just because you're busy and you know your schedule is packed with a whole bunch of things for the church that doesn't mean you're in purpose because the lord may not be calling you to all these things not every good thing is a god thing and that's why today's passage we will be talking about martha and mary you know a lot of people try to play martha but in reality, some of us are Marthas. We're focused on the wrong things. Yes, it may be a good thing, but really, is it what God wants us to do right now in this very moment? Are you sitting at his feet? So that's basically the essence of this video, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Are you just busy or are you in purpose? We'll be reading Luke 10, verse 38 to 42. While they were traveling, he entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. They're talking about Jesus. Jesus was traveling, and Martha welcomed him in. She had a sister named Mary, who also sat at the Lord's feet and was listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, and she came up and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to serve alone? So tell her to give me a hand. So shout out to Martha for opening her home to Jesus and being hospitable. She wanted to serve him. She said, like, come in. I got you. You know, she was doing a great thing. And sometimes when we hear the, the story, people look down on Martha, but she was honestly doing a good thing, right? But what she struggled was identifying what's important at this very moment. She struggled with prioritizing. Yes, you know, you're serving and you're in the kitchen. That's a good thing. But there are more important things in this very moment. And um, she struggled with that. And a lot of us, our Marthas, right? We're, we're prioritizing the wrong things in this season. God may want to be calling you to do one thing. You have all these things in line and you're trying to tackle them all, but he's just like, just sit at my feet. It says that she was distracted by her many tasks. She was so focused on other things and overlooked the fact that she should be soaking in this time with Jesus. This is the only time she'll have with him. She doesn't know how long he'll be here, but instead she was focused on the many tasks at hand. Verse 41, the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has made the right choice and it will not be taken away from her. You are worried and upset about many things. What are you stressed out about? What is overwhelming you? What is taking up so much of your time that you're looking past Christ? Like, what are you so worried and upset about? And he's like, Mary made the right choice and it will not be taken away from her. So Martha expected Jesus to say, Mary, go to the kitchen, go help your sister out. And Jesus is like, no, she made the right choice in this very moment. Yeah, what you're doing is good, but she made the best choice. He never said that Martha was wrong and, and shamed her for it, but he was just like, no, Mary made the right choice. I relate with Martha because sometimes we're overwhelmed with so many things that we lose sight of the most important thing. Like you may have so much on your plate, you're losing sight of what God is calling you to do. Just because you're busy doesn't mean you're in purpose. Yes, you're doing all these different things, but all this time that you're soaking to do so many different things, the Lord may be calling you to do three things and focus on that. He may be calling you to do one thing and focus on that. He may be calling you to rest in this season because he's like, you've been overworked. Chill out, gather yourself together, sit at my feet, dwell in the word. But we're just so focused on being busy, 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 busy. And people confuse being busy with purpose. And it's not the case because Martha was busy. But was she in purpose? Was she, was she doing the best thing? No. And like I said, not every good thing is a God thing. So it's important to seek the Lord and try to have balance in your life. You can't give everything in your life 100% because some things are more important than the other. So you need to look at your list, seek the Lord and say, Lord, what is the most important and what is the least important? And tailor your time to that list. 
So what's at the top of the list will get more time throughout the day. And what's at the bottom of the list can get a little bit of time. Martha was busy working, but Mary was right where she needed to be. Are you where you need to be? People probably thought Mary was lazy because she sees Martha's in the kitchen. It didn't matter because she made that decision and she understood that Jesus isn't going to be with me forever. I need to take this moment in. The dishes, the food, that can wait. But this time right with him right now, it doesn't compare to it. Sometimes where God is calling you, you may receive hate for it. Mar Mary probably received hate for it because she, you know, gender roles and all these things. But as long as you're right where God is calling you to be, you're good. That's all that matters. The opinions and the voices of every of man, that doesn't matter. But just make sure you're exactly where he wants you to be. So reflect on your task and determine what's essential and what God really wants you to focus on and cultivate in the season that you're currently in. You know, to be transparent with you guys, I remember when I was in high school, I was doing so many things in the church, you know, busy doing this, this, president of the youth group, all these different things. And I was busy. I'm thinking like I'm in purpose. I have things to do. My schedule is packed. But in reality, I should have been sitting at Jesus' feet more because that's the most important. So please, moving forward, don't confuse you being busy as being in purpose because the Lord may be calling you, like I said, to take a break. He may be saying, you've been working so hard for the past five, six years. You need to take a break, seek my face, and understand that outside of all of that, I'm the most important thing. Jesus, God, he's the most important thing. So yeah, seek the Lord and say like, Lord, in this season, what do you want me to focus on? What are you calling me to do? It's a hard pill to swallow, especially if you're someone doing so much, but you may have to fall back on a couple of things, or you may have to do a couple more things. Maybe you're not doing enough. So it all depends on the person. And um, the only person who can answer this for you is God. You have to seek him and seek the wise and seek wise counsel and uh, he'll reveal it to you. So that's all for today's Word Wednesday. I pray that this video is a blessing to each and every one of you and that um, God meets you where you're at and shows you the things that you need to work on because we all are, it's not about perfection, but progression. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. This is Loving Lou and I will see you guys in the next video. Wait. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.